we'll do that. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. My brothers and my brothers, the, the family has made it very, very clear that if there's anyone here who feels like he has a right with this brother, or he feels like this brother owed him anything in this world, then come forward and see the family. This is not a pride issue. In fact, this is a haq issue. And this is actually a sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if you feel like that there used to be a time when you two were joking and he said a word that hurt you once, then forgive him. And if you feel like that there was something once in the days where something took place, whatever the case is, Wallahi, my brothers, this is the time and the moment that we forgive one another purely for the sake of Allah. If there's anything right now that is going to benefit this brother, it is our dua and our forgiveness towards him and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also to forgive him. My brothers, like, like we were mentioning before, you know, we come to the grave, we come to the cemetery now. For what purpose? Why are you here? Why are we here? You know, I'm starting to see a lot of regular faces at this place. What have you learned from the last time you were here? What is it that we take home when we come to the grave? Have we come so we can show our face? Do you think the brother is in need for you to just show your face? Brother, did you go? Yeah, well, alhamdulillah. I went, I showed my face and I called it a day. No, if you're not here to benefit, if you're not here to take a lesson, if you're not here to change your life, then why are you here? You know, my brothers, many years ago, I was in Syria and I visited one of the graves there, one of the cemeteries. And on the door of the cemetery, they had a plaque, a very interesting plaque. And basically it said on the plaque before you enter into the cemetery, it said, do not be surprised. It's speaking on behalf of the dead. Yeah. It said, do not be surprised by us for we were like you yesterday. But as for tomorrow, well, tomorrow you will be like us. Don't come here and be shocked. There's nothing to be shocked about. And don't feel sorry for brother. Well, like, don't feel sorry for the brother. Rather, you should feel sorry for yourself. How are you living your life? And how will you live? What is the purpose of our existence in this world, my brothers? What to eat, to play, to wear nice clothes and a hectic watch and drive a mad car? Do you really think that Allah do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that bored and he has nothing to do but to create these little human beings that will spend all their lives competing amongst one? Do you really think that that's the purpose of our existence? Or did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create us for something far greater? My brother's life is not a joke. It's not a joke. You've been created for a reason. And we stand here now and I see many broken hearts and, you know, obviously the father standing next to me, whatever have you. But ask yourself really, now in this moment, what good is a house to this brother? What good is all the money in the world to this brother? What good is an AMG or a Lamba, whatever you want to call it, what good is that now to him? What good is a six foot two blonde? It's of no benefit. It's of no benefit, no matter how many zeros were in your, it's of no benefit now. Granite bench tops, timber bench top, ensuite, not ensuite, is a double story, is it a split level? How many, ha this is of no benefit whatsoever, this is gone. What is the life of this world? Except it's a deception, it's a dream, it's an illusion. Why is it a dream? Because to believe in the dream, you have to be what? You have to be asleep. Ali bin Abi Talib, he says, you're asleep. And when death comes, you wake up. Ya Hasrati, whoa, where am I now? And it's too late then. You can't go back. You know, my brothers, I always think to myself, and really, let's pose the question. I challenge anyone that if you could bring out any person in this cemetery, any person, Muslim or non-Muslim alike, if we could, let's just say, let's just imagine for a moment that we could bring this brother back up and make him stand and only have one minute in his life. How do you think he would spend it? What would he do with that minute? We see he thinking, you know, I feel sorry for the brother. You know, again, no, don't feel sorry for him. There are no accidents in Islam. Wallah, he's so young. So... No, no. His death was decided by Allah 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth. 
That bullet had his name on it, whether you like it or not. That time, that place, that location, this was all decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The question is, is how did you go? How did he go? What state was he in when he left this world? How are you living your life, my brother? How many more visits? How many more reminders? How many more deaths do we have to see before you and I wake up and pull up and come to understand? Why are we wasting our lives for? For what? For what benefit? So I ask, if we could bring him up, brother, how would you spend your minute? You know, it is only now he knows the value of one, subhanallah. Now he knows the value. If I had just given one more dollar in charity, I would have found it here. Ya Allah, if I just did one more sajda, if I had just one more sajda, I would have found the light of that sajda in my grave. But now it's too late. Now it's too late. Why 